Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. The nights are starting to get cold. The days are getting a lot shorter now, and it's time to get the workshop ready to uh, be worked in again. Uh, during the summertime, it's just regular work, work, work. Nothing really gets done out here. I end up storing tools and going through from different jobs and stuff like that. Uh, I had all of the duck hunting stuff sitting right there, and I just got that put up above the workshop up here so now I'll know where it is for next year and uh, there's the tent everything's up here now so I'm gonna continue cleaning down there I've got some uh, pretty neat projects coming up in the workshop the first project that's gonna be coming up here very shortly is uh, my daughter Emily is gonna have my first grandbaby here in the beginning of January and I am gonna build the crib so way early this spring I had milled a whole bunch of cherry boards <laughs> And they have been sitting here now after they got milled drying for months but I need to get these in the shop and get a fan on them they haven't had the right amount of time to just naturally air dry but uh, I'm running out of time I want a month to build this crib and I'm excited about it so I'm gonna get the workshop cleaned out and uh, get these boards in there and get fans going and uh, it'll help dry them out quite a bit so I should be should be ready to go Well, it's getting there. <laughs> At least it's starting to look clean over there. Okay, well, I got this side fairly clean. I do still have to go through this pile of stuff here, and I was going to today um, just like start cutting some of it up for firewood, but then I see a piece like this one right here. And it's like, oh, that's pretty neat. I could make something like this with it. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'll probably have a super hard time trying to uh, get rid of this stuff. One thing I did buy this summer is I bought this drill press right here. I needed it for doing cable rail decking. It's really hard to get through the post real straight, so it's easier to bring them home, run them through the the drill press and then bring them back out but it'll come in really handy for doing all kinds of projects here in the workshop and before I do this crib I need to replace my joiner here um, it's, it's got nicks in the blade I cannot find blades for it and then I thought I found blades for it got them out here and then tried to take out the old blades and it's like an aluminum screw or something and it stripped so at that point I said I'm done this works if you're gonna do anything really rough but it doesn't leave a nice smooth edge It'll straighten it out, but for the crib and gluing stuff together, I definitely need a new planer. So now I have to clean up this side. We got this all cleaned up now. That took a long time. Now it's time to go back and get those boards in here and that I will have accomplished what I wanted to do today. I need to get those boards in here and get them drying out a little better. These top ones here, these are birch. They've been drying a while now. I'm not going to use these though.
I have three fans going in here now, so this air is just going to sit here and swirl around the room. I'm going to leave them in here and the, with the fans going for about three weeks. I'm not even going to really get really started on this until after deer hunting. I might come out and do some planing of the boards to get them down a little thinner and let them keep drying. And then right after deer hunting, which is the beginning of November, I will get going on this. The nice thing about building this crib is right now it's my daughter Emily that's pregnant. But eventually Sarah will have children and I'm sure Zachary's going to have children and they can pass this uh, crib right down the line. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching and uh, as far as this series go, probably see you guys in about a month.